Today is Saturday, uh, March 27th, and the verse for the day is Exodus 29, one to, verses 1 to 9. You shall take the anointing oil and pour it on Aaron's head and anoint him. Alright, so uh, the word consecration uh, rarely comes up in that. Uh, even in church settings, talk of consecrating someone or something garners attention due to its infrequency. In my tradition, we ordain minister and elders. The worship service of ordination includes the asking of questions and the laying on of hands. No oil. Ordination is described as commissioning or dedicating, not generally as consecration. <laughs> nonetheless, the ceremony, nonetheless, the ceremony, at least in my branch of the line, requires preparation, the making of promises, prayer, healing, and the surprisingly weighty experience of having others put their hands on your head, shoulders, back, and arms, while prayers for the spirit are evoked. Often, com often communion is celebrated, the bread and wine set apart, consecrated for sacred use, uh, set apart for sacred service, set, set apart for sacred service. At base, the definition of consecration seems straightforward. Oil, bread, priests, all set apart for sacred purposes to be used in worship and useful to our God. The clothing, whether robe or stole, alb and rope belt, mitre and staff, collar and cross, all outward signs of divine calling, inward identity, singular purpose, to be used and useful. The public nature of both the service and the vestments, the oil and, oil and bread, the bull and blood, made for accountability and reveal the communal nature of sacred service. Not of the pomp and circumstances for its own sake or for the sake of the one at the center of it. All of the elements and words, songs and oaths, processions and promises are for the sake of God's good plan for the world. But what are the what about those who've not had oil poured over their heads or hands laid on their shoulders? What about those who have scrubs or plastic or Plastic, sorry, public work uniforms, business suits, or sweat stains with baby spit on. Are only priests given sacred purpose? No. The only priesthood of all believers requires each and every one of us to be used and useful for the sake of God's good plan for the world. Our baptismal vocation sets us apart for sacred service. We may be consecrated with the oil of spilled paint in an elementary school classroom or spilled blood in an emergency room. The oil that sets us apart for service may be ink on our fingers or the smell of chopped onions in our hands. The oil of consecration could smell of bleach from cleaning bathrooms or antiseptic from tending to the wounds of others. The clothing that reveals our calling comes in countless forms, from clerical robes to denim to overalls. God calls us to serve, setting us apart to be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. Um. With that being said, there are some questions we should reflect on. Have you participated in a service or oration or consecration? If so, what was the experience like for you? What do you remember about it? Also, what does the oil of consecration look like for your calling? What vestments or do you wear as you serve God? With that being said, here's let us pray. God, you call us each of us you call each of us to serve you. You give us gifts to share. You work through our particular temperance and skills, so much so that we sometimes fail to see that our work and passions, our inc inclinations and curiosities, all fulfill your purposes for us and for your beloved world. We ask only to be useful to, to and for you. Amen.